my knee! Ow, my knee! It's alright, mate. Got the first aid kit. Thank you. Without further ado, let's have a look what I've got in my first aid kit. Okay, so as you can see, I don't keep my first aid kit in one of the obligatory first aid red little pouches. I put mine in a Ziploc bag. The reason I do that is to save quite a bit on weight really, and also you can ideally pack it down to what you want, and it's clear and it's see-through, so you're not having to rummage around what's inside. You can just take a look, see what's in there, Right, I need that, and that's what I do. So the first thing that's going to come out of my first aid kit is the Sudocrem. Now I use the Sudocrem quite a lot, especially in the summer. If you're going to be getting bit by any midges, any mosquitoes, or if you've got any bites that are occurring, or even just burns, anything like that, Sudocrem is really good. As you can see, it's a very small pouch, it weighs nothing, and it just fits in my first aid kit really good. So that's the first bit. The next one, I keep some latex gloves. Now the reason I keep latex gloves in there is because you never know what's going to happen. I might have to, especially if I'm out hiking with somebody, I might have to work on them if they become injured. Now, I don't know about any of you guys, but blood, I hate it. I hate blood, especially on other people as well. Not so bad on myself, but I just hate blood as a whole. So I always carry, in my first aid kit, some nitrile gloves, powder free, in case anything happens, I can wear them and I can protect myself. They weigh nothing, and you might as well even stick four in your bag with that light. Next. I always carry some Nurofen with me. And the reason for that is because if I don't drink enough water on the trail, especially from what the weather was like on the Heart of Wales line trail, that was boiling hot. There was a shortage of water at one point, and that evening I had to smash a couple of Nurofen inside of me because I had a headache coming. Luckily, with plenty more fluids where we found, where we were lucky enough to find that little stream, it disappeared over a period of that time until we got to camp but always ensure that you carry some Nurofen. Next on my list are some Compede plasters. Now these Compede plasters are really good. If you're getting a blister on your foot, on your heel, if you put the blister plaster on, it helps reduce the swelling of the blister and it also, over time, I'm not saying it'll happen all the time, but due, especially if you were to leave it overnight, that blister could turn into nothing. They are pretty good as well for walking in as well. I've had a blister before, before I had my Salomon boots. Now, <laughs> I, I woke up in the morning with the Compede plaster still on. I went hiking that day, that morning, and I must admit, these plasters did their job. They stuck in place and they prevented any more th anything else happening to that blister. So I always suggest carrying a couple of blister plasters from Compede. Next on the list is a plaster and a couple of sterile wipes. Now I carry probably more than enough sterile wipes and I always carry just one plaster. But these sterile wipes, you're going to need them anyway for if anything happens, you need some antibacterial, you need something to clean a wound cut before you dress it up. So again it's important to ensure that you carry something to clean that wound that area. So I always carry sterile wipes. Tick tweezers. You don't want one of them little buggers getting in you. They're a nightmare, they're a pain, and they can also cause Lyme's disease if you were not to extract that tick. There is a procedure for um, removing a tick as well. Touch wood, I've never had a tick. I don't particularly want one either. 
Always ensure then that you carry some tick removal tools with you. This isn't necessarily a first aid kit, but I keep it in there. This is my tenacious tape. And inside the tenacious tape, it is just really thick self-adhesive tape. So it can make repairs to any tents, sleeping bags, anything that's got a puncture. It's about eight quid from Go Outdoors. You can get it maybe a little bit cheaper off eBay, off the internet somewhere, but these are very good for any repairs that you need to make in the event of an emergency. Next on the list is my Compede Cream. Now this is a little bit different or it works very similar to the Compede Plasters, the Blister Plasters. So if you're feeling a hot spot when you're hiking, it's a cream. So you can just screw the end. And as you can see, it is just like a little paste. Put it on your hot spot and then you can leave it, let it dry and then overnight hopefully that blister will go down or even if it's just a hot spot nothing will come of it so that is really good as well I, I can't stress enough if you do a lot of hiking with your wild camping you need some of that in your life especially in your first aid kit next on my list hand wipe so if you've managed to do anything get blood on you you need something to clean and wash your hands I certainly advise a hand wipe. Alternatively to this, I always carry in the side of my rucksack or sometimes even on my strap some antibacterial uh, hand wash. So yeah, certainly make sure you keep some of them in. And last but not least, next on my list is my elastic bandage. Now you've probably all seen these, They're, you get two for about $1.99 from any super drug store, any hardware store. You get two for about one ninety nine. Normally they're found in any like health and beauty shop, anything like that. These were off eBay, so yeah, that is just in case I need to bandage up. They don't work like a normal bandage. They are stretchy. It's elastic, and it actually sticks to sticks to each other. It actually sticks to uh, to its bandage itself. So yeah. Another one that I haven't got, which I do carry as well, and it's not in my first aid kit because I always leave it in a more accessible place, is Vaseline. Yeah, you can make a joke of it if you want to. We all know what happened years ago with a Shropshire lad, funnily enough, with that Vaseline joke. But I always do carry some Vaseline, especially when I'm doing long distance hiking. And the reason I carry it, because in the morning, I always lash my foot in a smidge of Vaseline. And again, I've not really had any hot spots. I've not really had any blisters since doing that little trick and also using my salamons. But anyway, there we go. That's my first aid kit and what I take on a day's hike at Wild Camp. If you found it useful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't find it helpful, make sure you hit that thumbs down button, but ensure you do it twice. Yeah, do me a favour. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.